of Chinese history? You go to Shenzhen. You want to know 100 years of Chinese history? You go to Shanghai. You want to know 1,000 years of Chinese history? You go to Beijing. You want to discover thousands of years of Chinese history? You come to Xi'an. Good morning, Xi'an, and welcome to our first stop. Xi'an City Wall, longest, best-preserved historical walls in China. It used to date back to the 14th century. Many, many dynasties have all been through here. Let's find out why people come to the city wall. But how has the city wall been preserved till now? <laughs> a world-famous history site, it truly brings out the magnificence and the pride of Xi'an. I asked many people here in Xi'an about one question. What is the best way to start your day here in the city? And the answer seems to be unanimous, which is a nice local breakfast. The various food in Xi'an provides adequate choices and preferences for citizens. From weed to meat, Asian local people use their wisdom and creativity to fuel people from generations to generations that made the city world famous for food diversity. In Xi'an, many local restaurants stand hundreds of years. Mr. Jing, the owner of Lao Jingjia restaurant on Hui Street, said he's been taking care of his place for 40 years. When I ask him who's going to help him inherit this business, he said, It turns out that years of commitment and hard work is the key trick of inheriting the restaurant and the culture. Just like Mr. Jing and many other Mr. Jings of the city, they use food to inherit their legacy and the spirit of the city. And that is what makes Xi'an, Xi'an. This is a pedestrian street called Da Tang Ever Bright City. As you can tell from the name, the design theme is Tang Dynasty culture. As one of the most popular tourist attractions in Xi'an, there are around 6.5 million tourists come here every month on average. Here, you can see a lot of young people in Han Chinese clothing. There are more than 20 Han Chinese clothing stores on this one street. This is one of the most popular ones. Chanchong. The key word that all of our interviewees have mentioned is inheritance. How can the farmer have a museum? This is a story of Xue Hongquan and Shadow Play, a performing art dating back to 1900 years ago. Born in Huazhou, the birthplace of Shadow Play, Xue has been carving puppets for 40 years since 14. Now, he's a representative inheritor of intangible cultural heritage. Behind the screen, five members, all over 75 years old, are collectively operating the puppets, sing the local operas, and play the instruments. In the past heyday, they performed three shows a day for three months on end. They were so escorted by the flooding audiences that they could not even move an inch. Unfortunately, movies took away their pride, and they felt lonely. When Xue invited them to perform, they agreed without hesitation. 
Realizing their days are counted, they seize every chance to play. Last year, she built this new theater with a museum, studio, and a training center, unique in town. These old men do not know the celebrities in the photos, but somehow they know Xue is doing something right, as endangered shadow play on the verge of extinction is regaining attention. Before the pandemic, when over 200 audiences filled the theater, they fell back to those glorious days. Now they are busy preparing for their one-hour show based on a traditional Chinese myth, Nerja, who fights against fate. The theater does not come easy. In 1994, Xue began to sell his puppets in tourist attractions, making his first fortune there. Then breaking the local principle of family restricted inheritance, he provided the training courses accessible to all. After arduous training, only eight apprentices out of 1,000 remained. To retain them, I have to pay them well, but all my money has gone to collecting antique puppets for display in the museum. His hair grew all gray in the past five years. Luckily, with support from his wife phone, Xue is not alone. The moment she called the phoenix for her representing her Chinese name phone, she determined to marry this artistic but poor man against family opposition. They could not even afford a wedding photo, so they pieced together their student card photos. Still, she was annoyed to find her husband devoting 16 hours a day to carving, even during that pregnancy. However, her anger always melted after she saw those vivid puppets alive. She chose to help him with painting and marketing, followed by their daughter, who quit her job to join adventure. Inheritance is right there, sooner or later. Traditional culture is not dying, it never is. You've been with us on our amazing journey exploring CN. We've seen how the culture has been inherited generation by generation. Just like people's passion for Han Chinese clothing has passed on for thousands of years. Just like the food of the city has prospered as a result of years of dedication and hard work. Just like the shadow puppets, a man in the county can be the artist in the country. The spirit of Qian shall stand forever strong, just like the spirit of the city wall. Hey everyone, my name is Aaron. I'm a media challenger on the Xi'an team and I'm from Canada. Hello everyone, my name is Kim and I'm your media challenger from Germany. I'm part of the Xi'an team and in this video we are going to share with you our documentation on how we have explored Xi'an in these days. Okay, so the first morning we're here walking down the Xi'an ancient city wall, a famous sightseeing attraction near the city center where people can walk or bike down the ancient wall. I've never actually seen this sort of ancient wall in a modern environment or a modern city before. So this is really interesting and new to me. That's so cute. Like in Europe, we do have castles, but they were left behind, obviously. And then the walls are not so well maintained, so you find only ruins. Yeah. Oh, I've read that these are the traditional folk art in Chinese history, dating back like hundreds of years. Yeah, these look very different from the puppets that we're used to, where you put your hand inside the puppet. Um, but these ones definitely look a lot more complex and harder to learn. And then we went on to receive our second team mission, which is to actually create our own original shadow puppet play. So in order for our team, for a better understanding of the movements and how to uh, do the right expressions of their own shadow play, 
They are visiting uh, the traditional Qing, Qing Chinese opera to learn from experts. Yeah, so the deadline for our team members is to perform in two days. So they really have to work together to finish this quickly. And now we're at a very busy pedestrian street here in Xi'an, where they're about to perform their original shadow play. They're getting ready to perform now, so let's just check out their performance. <laughs> Yo, listen. This is a voice from a city called the Western Peace. Come on, people, fix your eyes on this masterpiece. The Silk Road started here long ago, from the far east to the city of Rome. The tree Honestly, I'm really impressed with what the team managed to come up with and achieve in such a short amount of time. Like, I love how they incorporated the Chinese cultural elements with modern themes like uh, rap music. Bye for now and see you in Hainan. Peace.